Welcome back to another video style crew. If you're new here, I am Rio. And as you can see today, I have my updated Air Jordan 1 collection. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, like literally since the beginning, I did one of these videos years ago. I'm talking at least six or seven years ago. I shared my Jordan 1 collection back then, right around the time I actually started my channel. And I figured since things have changed quite a bit over the years, I'll do another one. All right, before we hop into the sneakers, a quick disclaimer. If you're somebody that's looking for, you know, the off-whites and the Travis Scott's and, you know, all the hot stuff, the fragments, the shattered backboards, whatever you call those things, if you're looking for that kind of stuff, you're not gonna find it here. You're in the wrong place. The way my bank account's set up and the way my views are set up, I just ain't got it like that. Anything that's over like 500 resale, I'm not looking to copy. If I had it like that, I probably would, but you know, I'm not, I'm not there. I do have quite a few things in my collection that I'm going to be showing you and um, some things I've had for quite a while, some things you might find heat, some things I might think are heat, some things you might think are trash, which that's okay, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. So I'm going to go through, show you what I have, some things I've had for years and of course I add new Jordan 1s whenever something comes out that I like. So let's hop into my collection. OG black and white Jordan 1s. Now, these I've had for quite a while. I think these released in, I wanna say 2014. Don't quote me on that, I could be wrong. And they're just a dope colorway for the Air Jordan 1. Achromatic, black and white, very easy to wear. I actually have a pic on my IG rocking the Above the Realm Tournament Shootout jersey when I was in New York this past year. And I think it's just a really, really dope, clean sneaker. A lot of you guys were kind of asking me which Jordans were these, where I get them from. And unfortunately, these are reselling for quite a bit. I got them in a release, paid retail for them, luckily. And now I think they're going for like 400 plus. So um, definitely a good one to have in the collection, you know, if you already got it. Next we have the homage or homage, however you want to say it. Homage to home, Jordan 1 with the of course split down the middle. I got these mainly because one, I'm a Jordan 1 fan and of course I'm a Jordan fan and I love Scarface growing up. And if you know that Scarface poster with the split down the middle, I'll put it on the screen if I can find it. That's kind of what it reminded me of. Of course they're not Scarface themed, you know, but they just kind of gave me that, that, that vibe. But these are also in my collection. So the homage to home, homage to home, Jordan 1s. Next up we have the bread Jordan 1. I think these are from 2013. I haven't been able to get any of the releases that came after that year. I struck up every single time, but luckily I was able to get these when they released in 2013. You guys know what the breads are. Of course, one of the most iconic colorways on a Jordan 1, one of the most popular, one of the dopest in my opinion. And of course I have to have a pair in the collection. Of course, we got the breads, so you have to have the Royals. I think these came out in 2016 or maybe 2017. Again, I'm not best with the years, so don't quote me. Some of my favorite sneakers, some of my favorite Jordans, love this colorway. For some reason, this particular sneaker, there's been a lot of people that kind of talked about this. They, and somewhat kind of crystallized. You guys have probably seen that before, and I have no clue why that happens, and I, I don't like it. I don't like the fact that this is happening over time. Never used to do this, and I think it's kind of weird. But of course, the Royal Ones are just as dope as the Breads. So at least to me, they are. So I had to have a pair. So of course, with the Breads, the Royals gotta have the shadows. These do the same thing as the, those Royals do when they, they're crystallizing. The shoe is, it has crystals. And I don't even know if that's what you call it, but it almost looks like glitter all over the shoe. And I do not think that's a good look. But of course, the Shadow Ones were a must. I think these came out in 2015, if my memory serves me correctly. Again, you know, I could be wrong. Then we have a pair of Chicago Ones with the Jumpman on the back. So these are not the OGs. 
and these came out in 2012. I just remember buying these and how excited I was to have these because at the time I didn't have any Chicago ones. As I go through the rest of these Jordan ones, you'll kind of see which Chicago ones I actually have now. Even though these are not the sought after or the coveted Jordan one or Chicago Jordan ones, for some reason, I just, it's hard for me to let them go. So I've held on to them for this long, going on 10 years. And as of right now, I'm gonna continue to hold on to them. We have the Old Love, New Love Jordan 1 pack. I bought these in 2007. That's how long that is. So like I told you, I don't have the new age heat, but I got some things that not too many people may have. I remember when I bought these, it was around Christmas of 20. 20, 2007. Back in the day, some people would just sell things on Craigslist and eBay. I came across a guy who lived in my city on eBay and I met up with him at a parking lot of, I think, Wendy's and we did the transaction. I remember paying $225 for both of these, which I think was almost around the, the retail price. So you could buy things back then after they came out and not pay an extreme amount over retail to buy them. Like, you know how things are now, they're ridiculous. And back then it wasn't like that. Both of them are, are still in decent condition. They're not beat by any means. They've seen better days, of course, but for the age of the shoe, they're in amazing condition. I don't wear them as much anymore, but every once in a while, you'll see me pull them out. Bread KOs, Jordan 1s. Around the time, 20, 15, 16, 17 for those three years. Honestly, I was rathering, I rathered, what am I trying to say? Around that time, I preferred to wear these over the leather Jordan ones, mainly because I, I, didn't, I was liking them better at that time. They don't crease as bad as the leather Jordans with them being all canvas. I bought these, I think in 2014 or 2015. I can't see the actual tag to show me the actual production year. Um, but I like these a lot. And just like the OGs, I have those in multiple colors. I also have the KOs in quite a few colors, but these are gonna be the Sport Blue Jordan 1 KOs with a Vandal outsole. I like these a lot. Again, like I just told you, I just love the canvas look and feel on Jordan 1s. But when they did these, I feel like they made the toe box a little too high and almost squarish and boxish. And I just, I wasn't really feeling that a whole lot. Again, with them being Jordan 1s and KOs, you know, I had to cop them. Next up, we have the, I think these were called the Shadow KOs. They came out, I believe, around the same time that the other KOs came out, which I think was 2014. I do remember when I got these, I did not have the Shadows because these came out before the Shadows, but either or, the KOs or the OGs, they're dope in my opinion. And here we have one of my favorite KOs, the Chicago one. KOs, is that what they're called? The Chicago KOs, the Chicago, Jordan 1 Chicago KOs. I cannot get that out. I recently saw that this year, I think in spring, they're gonna be re-releasing these and I cannot tell y'all how excited I am for it. Based off the images, the silhouette and cut of the sneaker is better than this. Look at that toe box. That toe box is hideous. I think these are worse than the Sport Blue KOs. They just don't have a, a very flattering shape. I think it was like So Collector or I forgot which IG account it was that marked these as an upcoming release. And people were in the comments like, what are these trash, what is this trash? Y'all have no clue what y'all talking about. And I just hope when they release, y'all keep that same energy. The KOs were an original release back in the day. Some of you guys wouldn't know that. Some of you guys wouldn't understand how dope they were. They weren't always popular, but fun fact, the Jordan 1s weren't really popular back in the day. Another KO, which is unlike the other KOs that you've seen thus far, these are not canvas, they are leather, and they are in somewhat a premium leather. I used to wear them a ton of times and I had to slow down wearing them because they were almost becoming like my beaters when I would just throw like, just go run errands and put these on. And I was like, yo, real chill. Like you're not gonna see these that often, so stop wearing them so much. As you can see, they're they're black, but I think they're the colorway was called anthracite, which to me is more of like a dark gray. And these are black. Nonetheless, they're very, very dope in my opinion with the red on the tongue. I don't know why these even the KOs if they're not canvas, but it doesn't matter. They're still dope. Just by looking at this shoe, it kind of hurts my feelings a little bit. As most of you would know, these are the Midnight Navy Jordan 1s, which re-released last year, being 2020. These are the 2001 pair. 
Unfortunately, I was not able to get my hands on the newest release and it really hurt my feelings because I wanted them so bad. I actually did a video, uh, five outfits of how to style these right around the time that the new release came out. And in that video, the first minute I explained that I was gonna try to get the new ones, but I knew I wasn't gonna be able to because of the current state of sneakers. It's just very tough for true sneaker enthusiasts, I don't like the word sneaker heads, but true sneaker enthusiasts can't really get the things that they want, the things that they like because of the current culture of the sneaker game. It's all ran by resellers and who use bots. It's, I'm not gonna go on a rant in this video, but it's hard to get you know what, what you want. In that video, the first minute I explained that the shoes I'm gonna be showing were the 2001 pair. For some reason, some of you guys are not patient at all. You don't pay attention, y'all don't listen. Y'all just skip through videos to try to find whatever you want out of it and then leave. How many comments did I have saying, yo, why do you have a Jordan at the back? Why do you got a Jumpman in the back? Jumpman's not supposed to be there. Just listen, just listen a little bit. You might learn something. Now pay attention and you might learn something. I have them, bought them on eBay, and I don't think I paid a whole lot of money for these. Those were happier times. I don't remember what these were called, but they have the the signature first shot on the side. That was Jordan's um, game winning shot and when he was at North Carolina, of course, in 82. As some of you know, I've been buying a ton of jerseys lately and I got a ton of Jordan jerseys, which I haven't shared with you guys yet, but stay tuned. I'll be showing you some of those in the near future. I'm excited to pair these with one of the jerseys that I got. Let me give you a little bit of a hint. This is back when Jordan Brown was doing more mids, mostly with the Jumpman on the back. Same era that the Midnight Navies that I showed you came out. Just like the pack I showed you, the old love, new love pack, right around that same time. There's been other ones that came out over the years, which is more of an OG cut, which is the leather. But just because I had these with the Carolina blue and the white, I never felt the need to get any of the others. And I actually like these better. Next we have what I believe is called the metallic ones. Excuse me if I'm off on these names. It's hard to remember the names of every single Jordan that you own. Fun fact, this was, if I remember correctly, the very first unboxing, back when I used to do unboxings back in the day that I did on my channel. It might've been the first video, if I'm not mistaken. And that was well, like 2014 or something like that, 2015, whatever that was. They're so old, but they're holding up decently. I don't know how long they're gonna last because they're that old, but for now, they seem to be doing okay. I can't remember the last time I've worn them, but I have worn them before. Instead of the Jumpman, it actually has Jordan at the back. You don't see that that often. These have been in the collection for quite a while and they're gonna stay in the collection. Metallic red Jordan 1s. I've had these for quite a while as well. And I actually think these may be dead stock. I don't think I've worn these and I need to because I do like these a lot. I remember when I bought these, what I did not like about them is the pebbled finish. I like more of a smoother leather finish. I don't know why that felt kind of hard to say. Smoother leather, that is hard to say. Smoother leather finish. Try saying it three times in a row. This is very retro, very old school. I think it's a very dope colorway. I actually wanted the navy pair and I didn't get them. They're reselling, I believe, a decent price for um, a pair of sneakers. So, and I'll, I'll hold off for a little bit. Easy color to wear with the Jumpman at the back. And these are more of an OG high cut opposed to a lot of the mids I just showed you a few minutes ago. Mellow Jordan 1s, black and gold colorway. If you don't know, Mellow's my guy. I know Mellow gets a lot of hate. He's one of my favorite players. He has been since Syracuse. So through his entire career, I've been a fan. I wore them a couple of times. And what I can say that I dislike about this shoe is they crease so bad and so easily on the toe box. This one is creased too, but it's stuffed more than this one is. I have no clue why it does that. Still a dope shoe and Melo's my guy and I like Jordan 1's, so it only made sense. Rookie of the year, Jordan 1's. You guys should know this sneaker. Earth tone colors with the sail colorway, which I usually call cream. It's just a really, really nice look. I love wearing earth tones and neutral colors, so this just works really well with what I like to wear. Rookie of the year, Jordan 1's. Of course, a part of the collection. Hyper Crimson, neutral, great, whatever you call them. I remember in the beginning when I said I didn't have any off-whites, 
This is the closest I'm gonna have to it because this was an off-white ripoff. I think this is a really nice color. I, I like the neutral gray with the black and then the accent colors on the heel or the opening, whatever you call that. The suede on the side tends to shed quite a bit. So that's a one knock I could say on the shoe. Other than that, a really dope colorway. I'm not gonna spend too long on them. So Crimson Tint Jordan 1's part of the collection. we have the Turbo Green Jordan 1s. I remember when these released, I tried to get them on sneakers and struck out immediately. Like I had no chance and I wanted these so bad. So I immediately went to StockX and bought them off of StockX, which was my first time I actually used the StockX at that time. They're a really dope aqua green-ish color. And um, <laughs> I love Jordan 1, so I had to have them. Jordan 1 Crimson Tint. Some guys, you know, shy away from the pink thing and you know, I don't really get that deep into it as long as it's not like a feminine hot pink I think it's okay as long as it's tasteful I think these are a really nice colorway a black tee white tee some blue jeans very easy to wear you don't have to match with this color perfectly because chances are you're not going to be able to there's something that I like in having a collection for whenever I feel like being a little bit different So that concludes all of my Jordan 1s that I have in my drop front boxes below here I do have quite a few sneakers which are jordan ones of course that are still part of my collection and i'm going to be going over those with you right now newest release of the black and gold jordan ones these were a must for me and i was so heartbroken when i struck out on release day but shout out to bobby sneaker world bobby schooled me on some game kind of helped me out and i was able to get these by paying retail it was the luckiest thing ever but i got them literally walked into the mall walked into a particular store and was able to buy them just like that. Pure luck, probably won't happen again, but I was able to get a shoe that I really, really, really wanted. When I was younger, I had a pair, I'm gonna put it on the screen, I had a pair of uh, the, I forgot what they were called, they were black and gold patent leather ones in 2003. I was super, super young and I had those and loved them, but of course, because I was young, I completely ruined those sneakers. When I saw that they were coming out with these, I just knew I had to get them. One thing I didn't like was this gold around here. Pull your jean over, pull your pants over it, you really won't see it. It just kind of brought back that nostalgic feeling for me. So these were a must. Another pair of ones, of course, that honestly, I've had for quite a while, but I was selling them. However, I ended up grabbing a jersey that just worked so perfectly with them that I decided to not sell them anymore. I decided to keep them. So these are the Laney Jordan 1s. They're not like the ones that you see these days. They're, you know, they have a, they're, they're unique. And I like that about them. And the only reason why I was selling them before is because I just wasn't wearing them and knew I wasn't gonna wear them. And they're actually pretty much still dead stock or very, very, very near dead stock. And um, I decided to keep them. Earlier, I talked about the Chicago 1s and how I didn't have a Chicago one except for the older ones that I talked about before. This was and has been a project of mine because the Chicago ones, as a lot of you know, are reselling for like a thousand or whatever the price is. It's a ridiculous price. I'm not paying that. Like I said earlier in the video, the way my bank account, the way my views are set up, it just ain't happening. So I decided to make a custom. Now I saw a homie of mine do this and I saw a lot of people on YouTube do this where they took the Bloodline Jordan ones and decided to turn them into the Chicago ones. And that's exactly what I did. So these were or are a Bloodline custom that is still being worked on, but it's pretty much, it's almost finished. All I have to do is complete the wing logos on the sides. Aside from that, they're pretty, pretty much finished. I used a decal for it, but it, it didn't really come out that good. So I'm gonna be removing that and just using paint instead, which I think is gonna give it a cleaner finish. I just gotta get a very, very, very thin brush, which is a detail brush, to get in there and really, you know, make it look the way it should. But when these are done, I'm gonna have a pair of Chicago's. They're the poor man Chicago's, but who's gonna know? I refuse to go buy UA or something like that. I'd rather go this route. That way I know I'm not buying a fake shoe. This is a legit shoe that I decided to customize. Jordan Brent actually sent these to me and um, unfortunately they are half a size too big. I prefer my shoes to fit perfectly, like a perfect snug fit. These were just a little bit too big so I haven't worn them and I'm not gonna wear them. I'm gonna be getting rid of these. I don't know if I'm gonna be getting these on my website before this video goes out. So if they're not on my website by the time this video goes out, they will be sometime shortly after. But I'm gonna be selling these 
to someone because I know for sure I won't wear them. So hopefully one of you can get some good use out of these. They came directly from Jordan Brand. So, you know, it's very, very special. All of the other shoes Jordan Brand sent me, they fit me perfectly and they're not going anywhere. These are just too big, so I can't wear them. Next up, we have the Cloves, I think they were called. Had these for quite a while as well. I just don't wear them. They've been for sale on my website for, I think, quite a while. Even though I'm selling these, I still do own them. That's why I'm showing you them as a part of my collection. So for any of you guys that are interested in these, check out my website. The link is down below. I sell items from my closet, sneakers, and also clothes. So if you're interested, check them out. They're for sale. Next up, I have a few sneakers, Jordan ones, of course, that have been a part of my collection for a very long time. However, they're sneakers that I just don't wear. And like the previous two that I just showed you, these are also for sale on the website. And I think these have been on the website for quite a while. So if any of you guys are interested in any of these, feel free to message me and then, you know, let me know if you're interested and what you'd be willing to pay and I can perhaps lower the price. LS, I believe, Jordan 1s in this red colorway. Anodized Jordan 1s in the cherry red, I think they're called, apple red, whatever they're called, colorway. P-H-A-T, fat Jordan 1s, um, all red. I just don't really wear red shoes that much like I used to back in the day. Getting rid of these, so let me know if you guys are interested. They're on my website, so feel free to check those out. The link is down below in the description. I am realp.com slash dot by real, although that's going to be changed to shop my closet. I am realp slash shop my closet at some point here. So it might be changed by the time you see this video. Might not. We'll see. All right. So that is my entire Jordan 1 collection. You saw the whole thing years ago. Like I mentioned, I did it. Things were a little bit different. Things have came out over the years. I've acquired things over the years. Now, if you guys would like to see a collection of other models of Jordan 1s, let me know down below in the comment section or just hit the like button. Likes, of course, help me see what you guys are liking, see what you guys are digging. Of course, with the YouTube algorithm, it helps for the video to be promoted so other people can see the video as well. So like it, share it. I'm thinking of doing an entire shoe collection. Now that's probably gonna be a long video. I may reserve that for like maybe my 200K milestone. So if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, click the bell so that every time I upload a video, you're gonna be notified. And um, yeah, follow me over on Instagram. You'll see different things with different sneaker outfits. You see more of my style, more of my fashion interests. So follow me over on Instagram. And um, I guess that concludes the video. So I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one. Peace.